This is the Fitbit Versa 2. Originally released in 2019, it's still one of the best-selling smartwatches on the market today, despite the release of the newer Versa 3. So why is that? With its impressive AMO LED display, good collection of goal-based workouts and sleep tracking capabilities, it delivers a solid all-around performance for a range of users, but so do a ton of newer smartwatches like the Versa 3. So is it really still worth it? And if you already have one, what can you expect from it? And how do you get the best out of your Versa 2? Well, for starters, setting up and operating the Fitbit Versa 2 is very intuitive. Straight out of the box, its user interface is pretty straightforward. You'll want to start off by downloading the Fitbit app, and after you power up your Versa 2, you'll go to the top left of the app and set up a device. From there, you'll just follow the instructions on your smartphone. It will take you a little while to go through the pairing process with the smartwatch, connect to the Wi-Fi, voice and privacy control, and more, but this is a customizable process that you really do want to spend time getting it just right. And Fitbit has some tips and tricks to go over, and I definitely think it's worthwhile taking your time to go through this, learn them, and then it makes using your watch that much better. I won't repeat all of their tips and tricks in this video, because they're pretty straightforward and intuitive. After you've finished pairing with your device, a few quick tips on getting started. It comes with a single multi-purpose button that functions like the back button to take you to the home screen with a short press, but you can also enable Alexa or Fitbit Pay shortcuts with a long press. You'll swipe down the watch to be able to access notifications, and swiping left allows you to access apps like Spotify, the Alarm, and some other third-party apps. This is also where you'll be able to find your settings to adjust most aspects of the smartwatch. If you swipe up, you'll see a breakdown of your day and its stats. At the bottom, you can hit settings to show what information you want, whether it's food, sleep, etc. Overall, the user experience is very friendly and it's easy to use. So now that you understand how it works, what's the Versa 2 all about? Well, it has a square design with rounded edges, and the case is made from a durable aluminum that feels pretty premium. The build is very small and it's lightweight, so it really isn't cumbersome during exercise or with all day usage. Unfortunately, the quick release straps are relatively difficult to swap out, but you do get a range of strap styles to choose from, and it's backwards compatible with previous models, so you get a pretty big selection. I also thought that the display was a standout feature. It comes with a striking 1.4 inch AMO LED touchscreen panel with a comparable quality to modern offerings. It also delivers plenty of brightness to remain readable in bright direct sunlight, along with great viewing angles and saturated colors, and it has deep blacks that actually blend nicely into its bezels. It's kind of all you can ask for from a modern smartwatch. It also includes an always on feature with a lift to wake up function that displays the time, date, and battery remaining. But the screen is only black and white when this mode's enabled. It's still a very nice feature that matches a lot of newly released smartwatches today. You can also conveniently set a timer to display your always on mode at a certain time of the day to preserve your battery life, and this is a really good quality of life feature. The processor is also on par with what you might expect from a modern smartwatch, so the interface's responsiveness feels very smooth. Overall, I thought the performance was extremely solid, but some of the newer competitors do have better battery life. The 165mAh battery provides around 2 days of runtime with the always on display enabled and it can last up to 5 days with general use. If you're enjoying this video and you learned something about the Fitbit Versa 2, be sure to give the video a like, it really helps the channel out, and if you're interested in updated pricing, be sure to check out the links in the description. It also comes with a solid range of health and fitness tracking features, although it does lack a built-in GPS, which is something that you would expect to see on most smartwatches at this price point. So your phone is required to actually accurately track your pace and distance, which isn't ideal if you have a big phone or you lack pockets during your activity. It does automatically record your activities as you work out, and I like that it has an auto pause feature that stops tracking your workout when you're not moving. Unless of course you're on a treadmill, in which case it still works. You also get over 15 goal-based workout modes, including running, biking, weightlifting, and yoga, along with a generic mode for niche activities. While the heart rate sensor isn't medical grade, it provides a pretty solid result that you can more or less accurately use to measure your cardio fitness levels. I thought that the sleep tracking capabilities were very solid for an older option. It utilizes a sensor to track when you fall asleep, and it utilizes metrics to provide a sleep score from 1 to 100, with access to detailed insights about your sleep quality. I also like the smart wake up feature, which gently buzzes to wake you up when you're at a lighter sleep stage. 
It also has an oxygen variation graph to track the variability of your blood oxygen saturation while asleep. And it features menstrual cycle tracking as well, which is useful for some people, all of which are solid features that you would more or less expect to find on a newly released smartwatch with comparable accuracy. The Fitbit Versa 2 also has built-in Alexa support, and while it can perform simple commands, it wasn't very responsive. It also displays notifications from your smartphone, and you can respond to messages with voice commands on Android. The Spotify app allows you to control playback, but it only has 2.5 gigs, which is enough for a lot of music, but it's a small amount of storage nonetheless. For example, the similarly priced Apple Watch Series 3, released way back in 2017, comes with 8 gigs of media storage at a very similar price point. But overall, the Fitbit Versa 2 is a very solid smartwatch that comes with an impressive all-around performance. With its high-end fitness tracking capabilities and detailed wellness insights, it offers impressive performance and a good feature set that is comparable with some newer options. Is it the watch for everyone? No, not really. The Fitbit Versa 2 is an affordable option that's designed for all-around use as a smartwatch. If you're on a budget, it's still a very solid buy and you won't be disappointed with the smartwatch. Most of the features do rival modern day smartwatches and it's great value for the price. Despite its impressive performance and value, I still think we can do a little bit better in 2021, such as the Versa 3, if you're willing to spend a little bit more that is. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all the items mentioned, check out the description. And if you guys learned something or you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.